Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how you can download and install Jenny Motion, which is an Android emulator on your Windows operating system. And I'm also going to show you how you can set up this Jenny Motion emulator with Android Studio so that you can run your Android apps which you create in Android Studio uh, using this Jenny Motion emulator. Why we are doing this? Because you may have observed that uh, the native emulator which comes with Android Studio is little bit laggy or slow, right? So we can use Jenny Motion uh, if you want to, you know, uh, use a fast emulator. So just open your favorite browser to download a Jenny Motion and search for Jenny Motion. And the first link prob most probably will appear here will be from jennymotion.com. So just click this link here. And in here, you will be able to see uh, more about this uh, Jenny Motion emulator and stuff. You, if you need to, uh, you know, download this uh, Jenny Motion, you just need to go to the bottom and just click get Jenny Motion. And in here, there are two versions available for Jenny Motion. One is business version and another is free version, right? So for learning purpose, we just uh, want this free version. We don't want to use the business version. So what we are going to do is we are going to use this free version and we are going to download this free version. So just click this link below the free, uh, you know, version link. And in here, select your operating system. Most probably you are on uh, Windows. And in here, you will be able to see more about Jenny Motion. And in here, there are two versions of Jenny Motion available. When you see here, information, you will be able to see there are two versions of Jenny Motion available. So in download Jenny Motion, you will be able to see get Jenny Motion and you will be able to see get Jenny Motion without VirtualBox. So whenever you want to download Jenny Motion, it uh, comes with VirtualBox, which is a virtual machine. So if you already have a VirtualBox installed on your system, you can choose this get Jenny Motion without VirtualBox. But right now we are going to uh, click this link, which is get Jenny motion, which will uh, come with virtual box. Okay, so just click this link. And once you want to download this Jenny motion and click this get Jenny motion uh, button, you need to get, uh, you know, sign in. So once you click this uh, Jenny motion, so once you click this get genum Gen so once you click this get Jenny motion button you will be able to see the sign in pop-up window so in order to get Jenny motion or in order to download Jenny motion on your operating system you need to have a Jenny motion account and you can easily create uh, one account by just clicking this create uh, account or otherwise, if you already have Jenny Motion account, you can just um, sign in with your existing account. Just sign in. And then you will be able to see this uh, file ready to save. So just save this file. So now my download is complete. So I'm going to just click this Jenny Motion executable file. And I'm going to minimize my browser for now. And now you can uh, select your language for installing Jenny Motion. I'm going to uh, leave it as default, which is English. And now the installation wizard will start. So just click next. And this is the location where Jenny Motion will be installed. So just remember this location because we are going to uh, use this location to set up uh, Jenny Motion on Android Studio and click next 
and just uh, leave everything as default click next and if you want to create a desktop icon for Jenny motion you can just leave this uh, checkbox checked otherwise uncheck it I will leave it as checked and click next and just click install now installation uh, will start So now you will be able to see uh, this pop-up window which says uh, you need to install uh, this virtual machine or virtual box setup which is a virtual machine. So you just need to click next and next just and if you want to create uh, these desktop icon for virtual box as I told you virtual box is a virtual machine in which you can uh, install uh, you know other operating systems like Ubuntu or Windows or other operating systems so it's a different software but Jenny motion uses this virtual box to run its emulator so if you want to choose uh, these three options or create the desktop icon you can choose these three options otherwise uncheck them and click next and click yes and click install so it will install VirtualBox on your machine to run Jenny Motion. And now you will be able to see some warnings. You just need to click install. And now the installation of this VirtualBox is uh, finished. So you can just click finish. And the VirtualBox uh, will start or VirtualBox manager will start. We no, don't need this virtual box manager right now so we are going to just cancel it and we will wait for this installation to complete so now the installation of Jenny motion is complete and you will be able to see this kind of uh, window and uh, once or before you click finish make sure that this launch Jenny motion checkbox is checked and then click finish and it will start Jenny motion emulator for you and now the Jenny motion emulator has been started and here you will be able to see this pop up at the first virtual device so for the first time whenever you start this Jenny motion it doesn't have any virtual device virtual device means uh, any virtual device which you can start to uh, you know run your app so you need to add your first uh, virtual device so just click yes and in here you will be able to see no devices now for the first time in order to uh, add a new virtual device you need to sign in with your credential which you have created so just click sign in and give your username and password once again here and click sign in and it will uh, communicate with the cloud and give you all the available virtual devices now you can choose uh, any one device from uh, these options let's select one device for example I'm going to select uh, this 4.4.4 .4 API 19 for now but you can choose uh, devices depending on your preferences right so I'm going to choose this and click next and these are the properties of the device uh, right now I will uh, leave them as default and click next and now it will uh, retrieve and deploy the new virtual device so now the setup for the new virtual device is complete so you just need to click finish here and you will be able to see this uh, virtual device in your Jenny motion manager and you can select this uh, device and you can uh, change the properties of uh, this device by clicking this tool button here and you can see right now it's using four processors and base memory is 2 GB around right and uh, the predefined display size or screen size is this 
which uh, you can change depending upon your priorities so i will leave all of them as default for now but uh, yeah you can change uh, all these uh, things uh, later now if once everything is done you can select your device and just click start and it will start journey motion for you so now this device has been started you can just click ok here and now you can browse your menu from here right and you will be able to see all these uh, options here now once your uh, journey motion device setup is complete i'm going to just uh, close all the, these options and fire up android studio now android studio have been started so in order to set up Jenny motion emulator for android studio what you need to do is you need to go to this option called files and go to settings and in here search for the option called plugin okay so select this option called plugin and in here you will be able to see this interface and in here just click this button called browse repositories and this will show you all the repositories in your android studio which you can install we will search for jenny motion here it is what you need to do is you just need to install this plugin in order to set jenny motion in android studio so you just need to right click this uh, jenny motion option and click download and install and now you will be able to see this message would you like to download and install jenny motion just click finish or click yes so once you do this what you need to do is you just need to click close and now you will be able to see jenny motion option in your plugins right and in here you will be able to see restart android studio you can click this button restart android studio and if it doesn't work you just need to click apply and when you click apply you will be able to see this option uh, which says that restart android studio to activate uh, changes in plugins so just click restart And once Android Studio have been restarted again, you will be able to see this small icon here for Jenny Motion plugin, right? So just click this uh, new button which is created after installing Jenny Motion. And this is the Jenny Motion, you know, uh, setting option. Now, for the first time, whenever you uh, you know set up this plugin you need to give the folder for the jenny motion where jenny motion is installed in your system so browse for the same folder in c go to program files and in here go to jenny mobile and just select jenny motion folder okay so just select this jenny motion folder and click ok and click apply and click ok once your jenny motion folder path is uh, configured you just need to click this button once again and now you will be able to see this jenny motion device manager click start which will uh, start your uh, device and now your device has been started right so we have successfully configured jenny motion in android studio and now you can run all your android app using jenny motion emulator you just need to click uh, cancel this jenny motion device manager from here because our emulator is already started and you just need to click uh, or this run button so whatever application you want to run you just need to click this run button in your android uh, studio and then you need to choose this uh, jenny motion emulator from here okay so just click this jenny motion emulator click ok so you can see our android studio app is running so in this way you can download and install jenny motion on your windows operating system and configure it with 
android studio so that's it for this video please rate comment and subscribe and bye for now